Hey, what's up you beautiful sexy humans? My name is Elle. I am the owner and designer of plus size clothing brand Lorenza James by Elle Dove. And today I'm going to be sharing with you all a story time. This story time comes from someone asking me to tell the story instead of them having to read it, <laughs> which she read all of my interviews for the most part. But um, she said, you should really share this story. So here I am sharing the story of why I wanted to be a fashion designer. So I've always been asked in every interview because it's just one of those basic interview questions. Why do you want to be a designer? What made you become a designer? And honestly, simply put, I've never wanted to be anything but a fashion designer. I literally do not remember wanting to be anything else other than an ice skater or a gymnast. Something in that realm. I really, really was like, I was, I was that kid that went to the library and I was getting the books and learning the things they say. You want to learn something, go get a book. And I did. The first book that I ever got from the library and kept for a really long time to the point where they wanted to make me pay for it was a book on figure skating one and then another one because I didn't have ice skates and I live in Georgia. I hail from Atlanta, Georgia. I'm from Georgia. So ice is not like all over the place here. So I decided to get a roller skating book and learn how to figure roller skate. And that's what I did. And, and so clearly I didn't stick to that. But the first design that I did was based off of a Georgia O'Keeffe painting when I was in the third grade. It's literally the first dress that I ever made. And it's the one that probably set the course for me as a designer. I just knew that's all I wanted to do. So the sketch that you see me doing today is based off of a Georgia O'Keeffe painting that she did in 1918 called Music Pink and Blue. I get so much of my inspiration on a daily basis from listening to music and people watching. I don't know when my inspiration shifted, but it did. I used to just be able to get this design inspiration from other designers, well-known designers. But then I decided, you know, I think I'm gonna sketch and design clothes based off of a feeling. How do I want you to feel when you wear my clothes? And so, all of my inspiration comes from the women who wear my clothes, the people that I see in my environment, the people that I watch. Of course, we all consume so much social media. So y'all are a big inspiration to me on that end, especially the people who authentically live their truths out loud. And just right now, I think I'm on an R&B kick. So I get a lot of inspiration from the music. But anyway... I just thought it would be interesting to share the story of me becoming or choosing to be a fashion designer. Literally, like the rest of my scholar, scholastic <laughs> career, I always had some type of art class. I graduated with a, a fine arts distinction, distinction from high school. And then I went on to be a formerly trained as a fashion designer. So it's always been there. <laughs> Everything that I've done has led me to being a fashion designer. And I honestly would not see my life turning out any other way. Now, this is something that I get to do full time as well as be a mom. I'm a full time stay at home mom and I enjoy that. And I love that my two passions mix and mingle my little she is six now she completely understands what mommy does for work and she asks me at least once a week for a new dress do i oblige her no not all the time but when i can i do anyway i hope you all enjoy this story time i know it's not that long but everything doesn't have to be that long i've really perfect for perfected like summing up my answers <laughs> so telling a story is like oh okay <laughs> but anyway 
um, thank you so much for watching I will see y'all next time on the next video and if you have any questions or comments let me know down inside the comment section I'll talk to you later bye bye